Okay, good afternoon and, uh, and welcome to the first in a series of IAM Group SQL Server 2012 webinars. In this session we'll take a look at self-service reporting and understand how users can turn ad hoc data sets into highly visual, presentation ready reports that provide actionable insight for the business. A little housekeeping to begin with, each of your microphones has been automatically muted just to ensure that everybody gets the best audio experience. And due to the volume of attendees, we'll be taking questions via email after this session. So please do let us know if there are some specific scenarios you'd like to explore further. Finally, can I ask you all to hit the full screen icon on your GoToMeeting toolbar, just to make sure you get the best view of the slides and demonstration. Staying over the next 15 to 20 minutes, I'll, I'll share with you uh, some, a brief introduction to IAM Group, uh, some background to the relevant new features of, of SQL Server 2012, and... Uh, also a demonstration of, of Power Pivot and Pivot View, uh, Power View, sorry, formerly known as, as Project Crescent. Many of you are already IAM Group customers, but for those of you who aren't familiar with who we are, IAM Group provides strategies, services and solutions for information management that help our customers cut costs, improve profitability and differentiate themselves from their competitors. We help our customers solve complex data warehouse and reporting challenges deliver content management, collaboration and search solutions with SharePoint and provide a 360 degree view of uh, customers and partners with CRM solutions that can be deployed on premises, in the cloud or with a hybrid approach. We provide our customers with an end-to-end -end service that spans information management strategy through to first, second and third line support and we do that with our teams based here in London, Manchester, India and New York. We've got some very strong vendor relationships, not least with Microsoft, who have recognized our innovation and our ability to deliver real business value to our customers by awarding us with their Global Information Management Partner of the Year Award for four years running. Before we take a look at the demo, let me just introduce you to one of the most powerful new features within SQL Server 2012 from, a, from an end user reporting perspective. The BI semantic model powers all of the Microsoft front end experiences like Excel, reporting services, SharePoint Insights, also known as Performant Point Services, and Power View. It comprises three layers, the data access layer that integrates data from various sources, relational databases, business applications, Azure Marketplace, the business logic layer that encapsulates the intelligence in the model, and the data model layer that is exposed to the client's applications. So as an end user, each time I have new data requirements within my reports, I can go ahead and author new models right here in Excel. PowerPivot lets me load hundreds of millions of rows of data from virtually any data source into multiple sheets in Excel and create the relationships that will drive powerful exploration and analysis within this model. All of this has actually just got easier in SQL Server 2012 with the introduction of the diagram view that lets me visually design the relationships between my data sets. Let's go ahead and define some of those relationships right now. The only knowledge that I need in order to do this is an understanding of the type of questions that I'll be asking this model. Here I have the opportunity to create hierarchies, new calculations and business logic, modify field names and choose the fields within my model that will be visible to the client tools that connect. Once I'm happy with this model, I can go ahead and start uncovering insights within the data using familiar tools like Excel pivot tables. Let's create a sales report that analyzes revenue, by product, and let's maybe include a handful of Excel slices that will make it easy for me to start filtering the values in my report. So we'll go ahead and add region, and state, and let's add demographic to our vertical slices. I'll finish off by adding some conditional formatting. So 
add a data bar. And let's maybe add a data bar at the product level as well. And let's also add a pivot chart for some visual analysis. So that was actually really easy. I began with a whole bunch of discrete data sources and within a few minutes I've got a really powerful Excel report which I can now publish to SharePoint so that other people within the business can benefit from this insight. The clever bit though is what's happened behind the scenes. Not only have I published an Excel report but I've also published the semantic model too and I can continue the self-service BI journey with PowerView. In classic Blue Peter fashion, I'm going to use a model that I've published to SharePoint earlier and start a new PowerView report. As you can see, PowerView runs right here within the web browser, meaning that anyone with a web browser can easily access, visualize, and explore data in a fun and meaningful way and then present and share those, their findings with others. Let's go ahead and see how easy it is to create a simple report. We're going to be looking at sales data from a, a model plane manufacturer called Tailspin. I'll start by adding a title. And some key information about our toy products to the screen. Just one click on product and I immediately see the results in a nicely formatted table by default. PowerView is really good at not just allowing me to look at data, but instantly change the way in which I look at it. Instead of looking at a report that has one row per product, I'm going to turn it into a card format. One click and I have a completely different shape. This gives me another way of visualizing the information, but also allows more room on my design surface to add additional data elements. I can add as many regions to my canvas as needed to get a clear view into my business. Let's look at different demographics and the quantity sold for each. I'll change it to a column chart. We'll also go in and look at the categories and the revenue for each. And let's also view that as a column chart. And just like that, we've got a great looking report. Not only does it look great, but without doing anything else to it, I can already interact with it. If I want to look at trainer planes, I can click it and see trainer products and their distribution across the various demographics. I've learned something as well. I can see that trainer planes are not in the professional demographic. And if I'd like to look at the intermediate audience, I click on intermediate and I learn that most of the trainer planes are sold in the intermediate demographic. Let's change this chart at the bottom to be a scatter plot or a bubble chart. And let's look at some more data. I'll add the quantity, that's the y-axis, and I'll also add the number of products. And that will be represented by the size of these bubbles. Finally, I'll add the month to the play axis and add some data labels. Let's make this particular view a little bit larger and watch how performance has trended over time.
Now what you can see is that I'm learning something more. Trainers are our top selling category. I can go back in time and see that the sales in September or the sales in January. Or I can set trackers on the categories that I'm particularly interested in. Let's go with collective pitch and trainer. And I can explore what's really happening through a cycle by replaying that performance over several months. Back in January, I can see that trainer is way ahead with no contenders. But then suddenly collective pitch starts to break through and eventually wins. Power view is all about having fun with data. And when it's fun, people will enjoy it, people will use it, and people will adopt it. At the same time, I'm learning something. Here I've learned that towards the very end of the cycle, collective pitch got this massive boost. And I can ask what happened, and then go back and take a closer look. Using the time slider, I can see that the boost happened around about August time. And that happens to coincide with when we implemented the new sales model, which boosted the revenue and quantity sold during that time period. But what if I want to add some more information to this report and take a deeper look at my results? For example, here we're looking at our products, but what if I actually wanted to display more detailed information for each of them? Maybe how Collective Pitch, for example, performed regionally. I can convert this view here into tiles. Tiles are just another way to navigate tables. I can still have one view of my entities, but with a very visual and more efficient way to display the content and give me more space to add some regional data. I'll add region and region map. And then look at the revenue breakdown for each of these regions. So now I have a breakdown of revenue by region, which is still tied into all of the other views on the report. So as I click through individual products, I can see the values per region changing accordingly. So I've discovered new insights about the business and now I want to share them. Full screen mode gives me a nice clean view of the report and it's still fully interactive. So in summary, PowerView is all about interacting with the data. It's about creating beautiful presentations and maybe learning something in the process whilst communicating with others. It's about letting the data tell the story about your business. Thanks very much for joining us for part one of our SQL Server 2012 webinar series. Please email events at imgroup.com with any questions or requests for follow-up and we hope you can join us for the rest of the series. Thanks very much.